Hi, we're going to show how to determine a credit score using Binning Explorer. Credit score is a snapshot of the credit worthiness of a borrower. Higher credit scores represent lower default risk. Regardless, the existence of credit bureaus of credit agencies, financial institutions commonly have a need to evaluate the credit score by themselves. For this reason, an ability to efficiently determine credit score is important to the success of their consumer credit business. Here is the overview of workflow, which I'm going to explain more in details as we go along. First, we're going to import data into MATLAB and Binning Explorer. Next, we're going to perform data binning and modeling. In this process, we will do automatic and manual binning using Binning Explorer. Then we will perform model fitting and model validation using credit score card functionality. Last, we can share our results in the form of reporting, applications, or production deployment. But for this demo, we're going to focus on the first two parts only. Binning Explorer is a new app in the Risk Management Toolbox, which allows you to easily perform interactive data binning, such as applying automatic binning algorithms, merging bins, or splitting bins, and visualizing the binning plots. The first process of credit scorecard modeling is to import data into MATLAB. In this data set, there are a number of factors such as customer ID, age, time at current address, residential status, employment status, income, and the last column is in the default status which is going to be our response variable. To start using Binning Explorer, you can simply do it by typing Binning Explorer in MATLAB command line or by clicking on Binning Explorer icon in the app gallery. After selecting the data, the app will automatically classify the last column in the data set as a response and the rest of the variables as predictors. However, you can manually adjust them, for example, exclude customer ID. Then we can choose a binning algorithm. There are three algorithms for you to choose, including monotone, equal frequency, and equal width. If you're not sure where to start, you can read the description to learn more about it. In this case, let's select monotone. This algorithm is also known as monotone adjacent pooling algorithm, which is a supervised optimal binning algorithm that aims to find bins with a monotone weight of evidence trend. We can merge the bins together. We can also split it up. The app can quickly generate the predictor plots. You can see the bin information of that predictor in the bottom left, which include good, bad, odd, weight of evidence, or WOE, and information value. You can choose the statistics to display by using the checkbox on the top menu. You can also see the summary statistics such as min, max, mean, and standard deviation. When you are satisfied with the binning, you can use Binning Explorer to export your work to a credit scorecard object to continue working on the rest of the scorecard modeling steps. Exported credit scorecards can also be loaded back into Binning Explorer to continue working on the binning analysis. Now we can see SC1 in your workspace. SC1 is the credit scorecard object which include all credit data and bin information. Using the credit scorecard object, you can perform other credit modeling processes. For example, fit the model using logistic regression to find the model coefficients and related statistics. Fit model internally bins the data, applies the weight of evidence transformation, and fits a logistic model. Adjust the format of points based on target points 500, target odds 2, and points to double the odds to 50. Now we can display the points. For example, a 40-year-old customer is assigned 66 points. If a customer owns a home, he'll be assigned 73 points. By combining these points from every predictor together, you get a total credit score which then is used to make a final credit decision. Or simply use the score function to get the total score. 
The score function can also be used to score the training data or other data sets, for example, validation data or new customers. In addition, you can calculate the probability of default and perform model validation by using one line of code each. Then we can see the predicted odds versus score, CAP curve, ROC curve, and KS plot here. As demonstrated in this example, we can efficiently use MATLAB and Financial Toolbox together with Binning Explorer from Risk Management Toolbox to perform credit scorecard modeling. In this video, we have seen the Binning Explorer and the credit scorecard modeling tools. But in fact, there's a lot more you can do using MATLAB in various areas of risk management, such as VR backtesting, credit portfolio simulation, and even production deployment of your financial models. In case you need more information, you can watch more videos on this page, or you can request a trial on MATLAB and the toolboxes associated with computational finance to start immediately. Thank you very much for watching this video presentation.